It's the 2K Sports pregame show. Hey, folks, thanks for joining us. This is Ernie Johnson. Kenny Smith is here. Shaquille O'Neal. Big guy right there. Wow. <laughs> And coming up in just a bit, tip-off will be live from Salt Lake City as the Jazz go up against the New York Knicks. It's been a tough bunch of games lately for New York. They went 2-0 against this team last season, looking to continue that string of victories tonight. And we talk about the future at the point guard position. Shaq, Dennis Smith Jr., already showing impact-level talent. What's that? Explosive. Okay. Airtight handle. Mm -hmm. Can get anywhere yeah, well, he wants. What, what's your uh, what's your sound for airtight handle? <laughs> okay. Uh, lame. Yeah. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, Shaq. You, uh, you need some air. But no. when he gets inside, that's when he finishes like the big guys. <laughs> boom, Shaq. You would like that because he has a boom finish. Okay. He can Keep, rock the rim. Keeping it airtight, Ernie. Yeah. Sound like he can't breathe. Can I breathe now, Ernie? <laughs> <laughs> Almost died, Ernie. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Every day I deal with this. The beautiful, dramatic setting here in Salt Lake City, Utah becomes apparent when you get a look at the aerial shot of the surroundings. It's that time of the year. Happy holidays, everyone, from 2K Sports as we get set to bring you some mid-season NBA action. Kevin Harlan here along with analysts Greg Anthony and Steve Smith, and we'll be hearing from D.A. along the sideline all game long. The New York Knicks come into this one following a loss, guys, to the Bucks. Yeah, I just thought their energy was lacking defensively. Just gave up way too many easy shots. You know what? That's a problem anytime, but especially on the road where you need to be given an extra effort. Allen send it down to David Aldridge, standing by from the sidelines. David? Thanks very much. Well, Quinn Snyder is the coach here in Utah, and he said, as a coaching staff, we show the players we have confidence in them. And then we're unbelievably demanding. But it has to be mixed with patience. And that, over time, pays off. Kevin? Teaching and motivating. He's done a nice job, D.A. Thanks. Now, Steve, you can see it. Some players starting to feel the fatigue of a long season. How much you think is from the travel aspect of being a player in the NBA? Kevin, I think it's a lot about the travel. The travel is a grind. And I think being able to sleep on planes that is a art I couldn't do that and I think that's what guys are trying to find different ways where they're comfortable getting a lot of rest on planes but you got to find a way once you get to that city to um, I guess have some discipline where you can stay in not go out to dinners and spend a lot of time using that time to recover all right let's set the floor courtesy of Gatorade all fueled up and ready to go setting the floor for the Knicks Randall out there with Robinson and it's Smith, and it's Trier in at the shooting guard position. Now, here's Mitchell. Count it. Can't sleep on Joe Ingles. Knows how to pick his spots and when to be aggressive. Here's Smith. Has to Knox. Puts up a three. Rebounded by Donovan Mitchell. And now running up the court, Ingles pushing it up. Got that one up quick. Ingles has got five points so far. The silent assassin, Ingles, continues to do his job and does it at a high level. Trier passes to Smith. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And you know, Dennis Smith Jr. is a player who just is oozing with confidence when you see him play. Yeah, I just love how Smith Jr. will attack every player he goes up against Chris Paul who Smith Jr. goes way back with noticed how even as a rookie he approaches every challenge head on a as a rookie Smith Jr. was just jawing at the vets and, and dunking on everyone he has the game to back up that personality
He misses the free throw. And, and you know, known for that rim rocking dunking ability. Smith Jr., though, a special talent. This is a guy who wants to keep getting better over time. And he sinks the second. What a year for the Utah Jazz in 2018. A fifth place finish in the West with a solid 48 win season. Definitely surpassed the expectations many had going into the year. Now here's Gobert. He had a 21 point outing in their last game against Philadelphia. Six on the shot clock from the Bengals. That one's not going to go. And New York the other way now. And Smitty, the Jazz certainly caught many by surprise last season. You have to credit the job the front office did to reload the roster. Ended up losing to the Rockets in a thriller in the second round. But this is a team no opponent wants to see in the playoffs. Knicks on defense. And here is Conley. He had an 18-point outing in the last game against Philadelphia. And it was not a one-man show. That was the best part. He had just as good a game with his passing as he did with his scoring. Jazz have gone two or three here to start off the game. Down low, here's Mitchell. Count it. Mitchell's got his first basket of the night. Great job getting it to go after he takes the hit. Mitchell plays with a force every night. Here's Trier, covered by Mitchell. Shoots from the baseline. Trier passes to Robinson. That savvy little up fake there. Cool in the D. This is a guy who knows how to orchestrate an offense. Terrific lead pass. Ingles against Randall. Conley finds Gobert. Knocked away. Now Mitchell. Five on the clock. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Mitchell's got his second basket. You know, that's another good play call. They are shooting 80% to start this game. To the middle. They're running. A pull up. The offensive rebound. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. And I tell you, Bogdanovich is crafty inside. Knows how to get under the skin of the defense there and forces them to foul. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw, no good. And for the most part, when Bogdanovich is out on the floor, he's there to do one thing, <laughs> shoot. And I tell you what, when you can shoot like that, that's all you need to do. Great catch-and-shoot player who can stretch the defense. You cannot leave him alone. And really, his presence frees up so much for his teammates on the floor. And he's good on the second. And Bogdanovich is a confident, efficient player, a guy who can play either the two or three spots on the floor. Now, here is Smith. He's coming off a 19-point game against the Bucks in Milwaukee. And his big night wasn't limited to his offense. His steals numbers were way up there, and it was a special night for him in just about every way. Just three to shoot. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. I tell you what, you better watch out, fellas. He is on fire here today. New York shooting their third free throw attempt of the game. And, and on the season, you know, they're hitting about 76%, which is a decent rate. Green, he's checked in for Joe Ingles. And here in the first quarter, with a little over three and a half minutes played, Conley dishes to Gobert. 
Mitchell kicks to Bogdanovich. Mitchell outside. Lock at six. Utah needs to get off a shot here. And here we go with Morris running it up the court. A shot goes down and he gets this game back to even. Morris has got his first two points. And a lot to like about that play, particularly how it ends. Yeah, at the rack. That's what you want in transition, a high percentage look. Now, here's Mitchell. 24-point outing in their last game against Philadelphia. And Bogdanovich kicks to Conley. And that one off the back of the rim and in. Conley's got his first points of the night. When that shot clock is low, Conley is someone you feel very comfortable of taking the shot. Pass to Ellington. To the wing right side. Portis, the pass to Ellington. Good. Great look by Portis. For a young player, he really understands what they're trying to do. Utah's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. It's tipped. And here we go. Peyton heading to the hoop. And the basket is good. No one rotating over to help on the mismatch. Easy lay-in. And it's Conley with the ball for the Utah Jazz. Trailing by two. Mitchell outside. Shot from 12. It's not going to fall. He's taken four shots and made two. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Jazz will take it. So Utah going with an almost entirely new group here. Davis has checked in for Rudy Gobert. O'Neal comes in for Bogdanovich. Dante Exum is checked in for Donovan Mitchell. And Emmanuel Moutier is subbed in for Mike Conley. And New York with a change here, too. Gibson's checked in. For Utah, they've gone 5 of 8 from the field, shooting over 62%. Davis kicks to O'Neal. Here's Peyton. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Exum finds Davis. And here's Moutier. Back to O'Neal, takes the 13-footer, and that one is good. And you have to like the location of this pass. Gives it to him where he can do something with it. Passes to Gibson. Davis against Portis. Here's Ellington, and a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. That's on Dante Exum. Steve, in the NBA right now, who do you think is the best isolation player in the game? I think um, there's two guys come to mind. James Harden is the guy that you look at is very comfortable in the isolation game. And also Kyrie Irving. There's so many guys that are great one-on-one -on -one players. When you start talking about just giving them the basketball and all eyes on them, those are the two guys that stand out, James Harden and Kyrie Irving. And he makes the first. one goes in two from the line that time and that's another area where he is just a superb player excellent at the free throw line outside green dishes it to O'Neal softly drops in the floater the beauty of the teardrop very difficult to really contest the Knicks with the lead Peyton with the ball Taking a look at his stats, he's averaging around nine and a half points a game. Ellington inside the three-point line. And it's good off the back rim and in. Ellington's got six. And a lot of scoring here early on. This is the type of game the fans love to see. 
I love it. Really, both teams running plays that fit the personnel. Going back and forth. Boy, he blew an easy layup. And he is furious with himself. Out to the right wing. Moutier kicks to Davis. Exum deciding where to go with it. Four on the shot clock. Von X pull it in. This is their first chance this season playing the Jazz. Interconference showdown. You love to see clubs that don't play each other often go head to head. I like it. East versus West. This is a very intriguing matchup. And the thing about Morris doesn't have the big vertical, but tenacious once he gets around the rim. Exum passes to Green. Moutier kicks to O'Neal. Two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. A moment here to see some numbers for Peyton. How last month turned out for him, he's right around nine points a night. Six assists and two rebounds. And the numbers won't wow you, but I like the effort he brings to the table each and every night. You need guys who understand their roles. Carry them out without complaint. Everything he does is for the team. And the first one drops. O'Neal hits them both. The Knicks leading by four. Now Ellington. He's got six. Portis off the left rim and out. Can't convert, but a good opportunity from mid-range. He'll take that every time. Exum with a wide open look. Utah the rebound. And Gibson sends it back. Nice defense from Todd, one of the best rim protectors in this league. In the corner, it's Morris. Back to Ellington. On the wing, Morris. A three-pointer off the mark. Jazz have gone 7 to 13, just over 50% from the floor. Some good looks. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. And the Knicks making a change here. Robinson's checked in. Now, here's Ellington. He gives a bit of a scoring lift to the team, averaging eight points a game. Back to Robinson. No one near Peyton as he lets it go. And that's good. Robinson picking up the assist. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this league. Time out, time out. And Alfred Payton, over his four seasons, Artists. developing one of the most distinctive hairstyles in the league. You know, and I remember seeing some footage where his hair seemed to block his vision on a shot attempt. For, for a player who had struggled shooting the ball, many questioned whether a trim might be in order. We'll see. Trier, he's checked in for the Knicks. Dennis Smith comes in for Peyton. To the left wing. O'Neal passes to Davis. Nice ball movement by Utah. O'Neal kicks to Davis. The pass to Green. Here's Exum. Shot clock at three. Here's Moutier. Stays with it and hits the off-balance shot. And it's Smith with the ball. He brings it up for the New York Knicks. It's a five-point game. Here's Trier. And again, New York with the triple. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Exum finds Davis. Moutier with the ball. Outside, Davis. Back to Moutier. Six on the shot clock. Pass to O'Neal. Here's Green. 
Schroeder with the rebound. They've been beating them to a lot of those loose balls and rebounds here to start. Knocked loose. It's stolen by Davis. Now here's Moutier covered by Smith. Davis kicks to O'Neal. Back to Davis to the paint. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. I love to see that aggression. Exum unafraid to pound it inside against some pretty good defense. And certainly he's got many natural tools. Dante Exum now starting to put them to better use. Kevin, he's playing with a better decisiveness now. You can see he has a plan. Still very young. Still has the upside. Shot, we'll see if he can keep it rolling. And that one misses. The point guard out of Australia, Dante Exum, is a rare physical specimen. Reason why he has great length at that point guard position. Great size. Now, here is Morris. He's coming off a 13-point game against the Bucks in Milwaukee. And that one drops for him. And you can see he's got a little bounce in his step. Three out of four to start. Here's Moutier following the basket by Marcus Morris. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance shot, at the gentlemen. line. And here's a look at the stats for Robinson. What a run he's been on over the past few weeks. Fifth in blocks. And he's an elite glass eater, a factor inside among the top ten in rebounds per game. And yeah, he's been a brutal shot blocker all season long. As, as you said, top five in the league. He's a dangerous force to face inside. And Utah making a change here. Go Bears checked in. And so he makes both from the line. The Knicks leading by six. There's 45 seconds left in the first quarter. Here's Smith. And Smith with the stop. I tell you what, at only six foot three, Smith has some major hops. Super at leaping up quickly to throw it down. Now here's Moutier. Last game he had 13. And Gobert kicks to Exum. It's stolen. Smith outside. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. With some arc. Ingles with the rebound. No hesitation. He took it right to the rack. But a quick reaction by the defense. And that's going to be too many steps. Gets the whistle on the travel. Five seconds left in the first quarter of the game. For three, Smith bangs home the trifecta. Smith's got six. And a double-digit lead on the scoreboard as we end the first quarter of play. Knicks lead by 11. Live from Vivint Smart Home Arena, you're watching 2K Sports. Mike Conley, one of the best players never to play in an All-Star game, and he says he's tired of the underrated label. The underrated Mike Conley thing has been out the window for me for a while, and it's gotten a little frustrating because I felt like I've been deserving of it over the years, but it's so hard to crack that spot in the Western Conference, and I'm going to keep working, and hopefully this will be the year. And as he said, in the West, so many great gone. And he's been a part of some winning teams, certainly. Has been in the conversation. He'll just have to be content with that max contract. And welcome back to the second quarter of action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And uh, the Knicks guys have been rolling right along here, Evan. I mean, a solid first quarter, especially looking at that plus turnover ratio. Take care of the basketball, being disruptive on D. That combination has them out in front. Here are the five New York has to start here in the second. Knox out there with Julius Randle. Then it's Robinson. Then there's Peyton. And it's Smith in at the two spot. Jazz trail by eight. On the wing, Mitchell. 
Covered by Smith. Mitchell kicks to Conley. Six on the shot clock. Here's Mitchell. And Utah again with the bucket. Boy, how valuable is Donovan Mitchell? Having him in the fold sets up this team moving forward. Mitchell against Payton. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. good from Peyton. Well, we know, Steve, the GMs are in a tough uh, position in this NBA. Trying to win obviously is, is the number one desire, but they got to balance everyone's view of the landscape. Winning now as opposed to looking what's best for the future. And it's totally hard because we all understand what happens because um, you get penalized at the end of the year if you're not a team that's, you know, pretty much locked in the playoffs. You almost want to lose games to get a chance to have a better chance mm -hmm. to get a higher draft pick. I think there's something that over the course of the next few seasons, this will be looked at very closely. It's fine to extend your defense to try and create turnovers, but, but guys have to help each other. That's been a problem for them all game. Teamwork is something you just can't turn on and off. For New York, they have hit most of their free throws tonight, five of six. That free throw good from Randall. And so Conley will bring the ball up for the Utah Jazz. Down by 12. Coming off that loss against Philadelphia. And simply put, they couldn't score. And it never got completely in sync in that one. Well, that's putting it mildly. They were in total disarray. I have no idea where their heads were that night. New York's gone three of six tonight when they've let it fly from downtown. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Alden. Well, as we know, Rudy Gobert is a seven-footer with an aggressive mentality. He said some guys don't have pride, but I do. Sometimes too much. Quinn Snyder said he gets angry, which I like. Whatever kind of stereotypes Americans have about the French, they don't apply. Not to him anyway, guys. Thank you, GA. He is indeed a fiery competitor. Portis, he's checked in for New York. Jazz trail by 10. Here's Conley. Looking at the numbers, he's averaging about 20 and a half points a game. Utah calls timeout. And for good reason. We talk about the effect of Gobert's wingspan somewhere around 7 feet 9 inches. Kevin, that's a tremendous advantage that few others have. I guess Mo Bamba's up there around 7 feet 10 inches. And of course, my old teammate Manu Bo still holds the record at 8 feet 6 inches. On defense, the Knicks. About three minutes played so far in the second quarter. Mitchell kicks to Ingles. Shot clock at five. Conley inside the line. The shot, no good. So New York will take it the other way. They're off to Denver after this game as they apply their skills at the Pepsi Center. And that will be game three of six played away from home. When it comes to flagrant fouls, do you think the, the difference, Steve, between flagrant one and flagrant two is being called correctly for the most part? I do, Kevin. I think we always have gray areas and when you start to look at rules. But for the most part, I'm thinking they're getting the flagrant one and the flagrant two. You know, I think they're getting it right. And New York making a change here. Ellington's checked in. And, guys, you have to be able to knock down your free throws. Struggling with that this quarter. Good way to let your opponent back in the game. The Knicks leading by 10. Inside, trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. Conley inside the line. Cans the shot from the wing. 
Conley's got his third basket of the night. No way to contest Conley on the catch and shoot. He's so fast at getting this shot off. Peyton with the ball. Conley picks him up. Peyton outside. Down low. And the basket by Knox. And the Knicks lead by 10. Utah has gone one of two on three pointers here in the second quarter so far. Outside Conley. And stolen by Ellington. And pushing it up. Here's New York. Portis, the pass to Peyton. Pass to Ellington. Lock at six. He feeds it to Randall. It's stolen by Gobert. Passes it to Mitchell. And then Mitchell with the dunk. Whenever a guy is open, Conley will find him. He has a talent for getting the ball to his guys quickly. Peyton against Conley. The pass to Knox. Pass to Fortis. New York moving it around. Here's Peyton, six to shoot. Whistle blows, bucket is good, and he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. No reason to overcomplicate an easy shot, but hey, he still got it to go. He made the only free throw attempt he had earlier in the game. And of course, we'd all like to see his percentage at the line improve, but he just does not have the touch right now. He's in the 60s. Green, he's checked in for Utah. Royce O'Neal comes in for Bogdanovich. And the six foot, 485 pound Peyton certainly has a unique skill set. Also, wants to keep improving as a leader. Knox misses. Just great at getting after it defensively, forcing guys into tough shots. Yeah, to be successful, you've got to protect the paint. He rises to that challenge. And on the defensive side, just a failure to match up. Well, the one thing you want to take away is anything at the rim. Just too easy. Utah calls timeout. And look, you never want to see a team gut you this way. Really a good timeout. Some of this is just a matter of toughness, a willingness to play physical inside, something we're not seeing. Emmanuel Moutier is checked in for the Jazz. Marcus Morris is checked in for the Knicks. Neil Aquina comes in for Peyton. Moutier finds Green. O'Neal with it. Ellington defending. Gobert the pass to Mitchell. Back to Gobert. Moutier with the bounce pass. On the wing. No good off the back of the rim. One could argue that's a good shot, but maybe not the right shooter to take it. It's stolen by Moutier. Pass break. Here come the Jazz. Mitchell wide open. The basket good off the assist from Moutier. Mitchell's got 13. You know, he had a hot start to this game. He's only gotten hotter. We'll see if the defense makes an adjustment. Neil Akina against the bucket. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. And stolen by Ellington. Down it goes, his third basket. He's now three for four. The defense not putting up any fight on the inside. They've allowed 10 straight points in the paint. Moutier kicks to Green. O'Neal passes to Mitchell. Four on the shot clock. Three-pointer. He misses that time, but only five misses in his 11 shots from the field as he's six of 11. Quinn Snyder, one of the more serious and intense coaches in the NBA. He has an MBA and a law degree. Takes a very measured approach to coaching, and it fits the team perfectly. Ed Davis has checked in for the Jazz. Dante Axum comes in for Mitchell. Morris outside. Pass to Nilakina. Five on the clock. New York needs to get off a shot. And they force the shot clock violation. Great team. 
And here's a look at the stats for Julius Randle. Over the last month, he has been spectacular. He's right around 17 points a night, 10 rebounds, and 3 assists. And what sets him apart is his rebounding. And as you can see, he's been in peak form. You know what? It's part effort, part instincts. You see teams trying to keep a body or two on him. But that's easier said than done. Now, here's Moutier. And they get some nice contributions from him on a nightly basis as he averages over 11 points a game. You know we talk about it all the time, guys. Those second-chance buckets, always the result of that extra effort. Here's Nilakina. Looking at his point production, he averages almost eight points a game. The shot's good from Ellington. Ellington's got ten. Oh, they own the interior right now. Ten straight points coming from inside. Jazz trail by 14. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Now, here's Exum. Not a lot of room. Six on the shot clock. Here's Moutier. Here's Green. An amazing finish with a hand right in his face. Green's got his first points of the game. Fantastic positioning on that offensive board. Then right back up. And so New York calls timeout. They're first. Steve, now that you've had a little time away from the game as a player, what are some of the things you notice now that maybe you didn't notice when you were playing before? Well, I think right now the emphasis on nutrition. Kevin, I did not take that serious. <laughs> I thought I could eat whatever I wanted to. And I think also right now I look and love what is going on technology-wise as far as guys being able to use technology to help their game and to enhance their game. And the Jazz making a change here. Niang's checked in. An open jump shot there, and their D not putting up any resistance today. Exum kicks to Green. Moutier with the ball. Working on Smith. Moutier with the basket. He can be masterful in there, especially when there's no rim protection. The Knicks leading by 12. Here's Trier. Great D that time from Green. Oh, that's terrific defense there. That's how you protect the rim. And the foul called on Marcus Morris. That's foul number two for him. And Utah making a change here. Bogdanovich has checked in. Moutier kicks to Green. It's Davis on the wing. Guarded by Robinson. Moutier finds Green. Fires the three. That one's in there. The New York lead is cut to just nine on the basket from Bogdanovich. And Bogdanovich is a consistent shooter from outside. Once he's in rhythm, he's comfortable from firing from beyond. Now, here is Smith. Six points for him. Morris outside. Back to Smith. AD by Bogdanovich. Utah has gone two for five from three point land since the end of the first. Offensive rebound. Davis. Robinson with the block. And he recovers it. Green picks to Moody. Let's a floater go. Tough to cut into the lead when you can't make shots. He's been off all period. Here's Morris. Feeds it to Gibson. There's a minute 34 left in the first half. Here's Robinson. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Lazy defense against a good score. Turns out not to bat him. It'll go, and the New York lead is cut down now to just seven on the basket from Green. A tall guard who can see over the defense. Exum with no trouble locating the open teammate. Morris outside. Looking for Gibson. He gets it there. Back to Morris. And again, it's the Knicks missing. And so it's Moody with it. He'll bring it up for Utah. To the inside. Here's Davis. And finished off by Davis. And didn't do anything fancy there, but didn't need to. Nope. He, his only concern right now is getting the points on the board. And I, I don't mean style points. Here's Trier. 
He has five. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. That's on Dante Exum. The Knicks have hit six free throws in ten attempts. First one falls. A different look for Utah. Joe Ingles comes in for Green, and it's Conley in for Emmanuel Moutier. And a switcher also for New York. Knox is checked in. And so he hits both. Jazz trail by seven. And this is obviously where you'd like to see a two for one. End of quarter, great time to squeeze out an extra possession. Now here is Smith. Six points for him to the left side wing. And that one comes up a bit short. Well, in the rebounding game at least, it's been a strong physical performance for him. Conley surveying the D. to the wing here's Exum off target from the wing and so it's New York bringing the quarter to a close with a seven point lead they've dictated the pace pushed the ball at every chance and it's paying off for them and now we'll send it over to David Aldridge who is standing by courtside David Kevin thanks here with Alfred Payton Alfred great passing in the first half how does that impact the offense when the ball is moving like we saw it? Everybody's getting easy shots. So it's much easier than contested shots, and uh, guys are knocking it down. Well, a really good first half, Alfred. Thank you for your time. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks so much, Dave, for the great interview. Don't go away, folks. We'll be back for the second half of basketball right after this. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello, everybody. Welcome to 2K Sports, the halftime show. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Boy, we have a lot to discuss. New York holding the upper hand after the first two quarters. They've got the seven-point lead. And Shaq, what are your thoughts on New York? Well, Kenny knows about this. I used to do this to his team all the time. Take advantage of you down low. Mismatch. Barbecue chicken alert. Make good entry passes. That led to some good looks, obviously a lot of points. When you control the painter, you control the game. I was the master of controlling thy paint, Shaquille Kiss. And Kenny, let's get your input on the Jazz. I think they're giving this game away because of their turnovers. I mean, you may not control everything that happens out there, but you do control how much you value each possession. I think coming out of the break, they need to be more efficient to close the gap in the score. And that should do it. With the second half about to begin, let's send you back to Kevin Harlan. Go back to Kevin Harlan. Go. Just go over there. Welcome back, everyone, to Salt Lake City, Utah. That's the state capital right here in Utah. Really a sight to see when you get that kind of perspective from above. And happy you could join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. Donovan Mitchell really making a difference here. Yeah, you know, you don't think of him as a big-time playmaker, but over the first two quarters, that's exactly what he was. You know, it's a nice change for him and for the team. It's not like he's selfish. We're just not used to him playing that way. We played through the first half. Plenty of basketball, though, left in this one. Jazz trail by seven. We've got Conley. Ogdanovich out there with Joe Ingles. Then it's Donovan Mitchell, and it's Davis in at the center position. That's the group right now for Utah. That's their third straight make off an assist. New York's gone three of seven tonight from three-point territory. 
Well, it might have taken Joe Ingles a, a few years to adjust to the NBA, but he looks right at home now. Was playing overseas until he made the NBA jump at age 27. The way he's playing now, it was worth the wait. Go Bear, he's checked in for Ed Davis. And here's Randall. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. And for Ingles, he's a player that gives you a little bit of everything. Yeah, he's played in a number of leagues and has picked up quite a few tricks along the way. Great passer. Can act as that point forward if you need him to. But his shooting from the outside has made him into the strong player that he is. A career 40% shooter from three. Find the lane. Find the lane. One shot. That free throw good from Randall. Here is Conley. At the elbow, it's Gobert. Mitchell outside. Drills it from outside. Mitchell's got 16. Donovan Mitchell is comfortable playing at all three levels. He's playing at his highest level tonight offensively. Now, here is Smith. Five to shoot. Here's Knox. Good, and the assist goes to Robinson. Knox has got his second bucket of the game to go. Jazz trail by seven. 90 seconds now into the second half. Nice shot by Gobert. Great play calling. Execution. Three for three to start the half. The Knicks shooting fantastically in this game, 62% from the floor. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Well, guys, the Jazz had to weather the loss of Gordon Hayward, so they need to play together to have success. Coach Quinn Snyder said, we expect guys to put the team in front of themselves and support each other. Our strength isn't in one guy. We need each other. Kevin? David, one thing for sure, they come to play almost every game. Thank you. Here's Trier after the basket by Utah. Back to Robinson. Here's Smith. Banked in off the glass. He's got eight. You gotta love the ferocity Smith plays with, especially when he's attacking the rim. You can body him up, but boy, is it hard to stop him. Now, here's Ingles. Nine points in the game so far. Gobert dishes to Mitchell. Six to shoot. He kicks to Ingles. Gobert the pass to Bogdanovich. Hits the front of the rim and out. But only the first miss of the second half. They've come out here with authority. And the shot is good. And now a seven-point New York lead. They couldn't have asked for a better start to this half offensively. Four straight and counting. Now here's Conley. He's got six. Passes it to Gobert. Mitchell outside. And he's good on the three ball. Mitchell's got 19 points. Even though Mitchell isn't all that efficient from range, the most impressive thing to me is he believes the shot is going in. Smith against Conley. Smith finds Randall. Rebound, Utah. And the call will be against Julius Randall. That's foul number two for him. And New York making a change here. Jazz trail by four. We've gone about three and a half minutes into the third timeout, now. Timeout. Utah calls timeout. And the thing about Mitchell stands only about 6'3", but has a solid frame and long arms and is very quick off his feet.
Reggie Bullock, he's checked in for Wayne Ellington. Now we get a chance to check out the standings out west. Already we're in December, taking a look at Golden State, earning the first place position with a terrific record. And we've seen them perform splendidly pretty much all season long so far, and they're definitely the team to beat. And, of course, Utah, just way behind. And I think for the Jazz, this season has to really become a wake-up call for them moving forward. If they didn't recognize before this year that they didn't have the talent to compete in this league, they sure as heck better recognize it now. I'm sure they do, because it's obvious that the way this team is currently constructed just isn't working. Changes have to be made, and they can't wait too long to make them. And talking about Mitchell, you have the physical profile, and then you have the intangible. The first one is a highly competitive guy. The strides he's made with his shooting speaks volumes about his work ethic. Great character and very well spoken. And it's Conley with the ball for Utah. It's a three-point game, and the shot goes in from Rudy Gobert. That's just too easy. Defensively, you want to prevent Gobert from getting the ball that deep. Stolen by Conley. Here's Mitchell. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. Allowing no space for the shooter to get comfortable. Just terrific defense. What I love is he takes the right angle, affects the shot without fouling. Here's Peyton. And he overshot that one, missing. For Utah, they've gone 7 of 10 on their field goal attempts here in the third. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And Greg, right out of the gate, Donovan Mitchell seemed like a veteran more than a rookie. I mean, his professionalism was one of the first things Ru Ricky Rubio noticed about Mitchell. Father played minor league baseball, knows what it takes to succeed in professional sports. And you can just see it in his approach to practice and his commitment to improving his game. Mitchell was already the surprise of that 2017 draft, and I don't think there's any question he's destined to be a star. And it's tied up with that one. He was a part of that terrific draft class in 2017. Donovan Mitchell was somewhat unheralded, but may turn out to be the best of the bunch. Jeff Green has checked in for Utah. And the free throw is good, now leading by one. The Knicks have gone 5 of 7 from the field in the third quarter. Let's see if they can keep it up. Bullock kicks to Payton. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Here's a look at what's coming up for New York. On Tuesday, they'll be taking on Paul Millsap and the Denver Nuggets. Then on Friday, They'll be facing off against DeMarcus Cousins and the Los Angeles Lakers. And for that game against the Warriors, it's the second game of a back-to-back, -back and you know they're going to be feeling the effects of it. Playing that much basketball in that short amount of time really takes a toll. Emmanuel Moutier has checked in for Utah. Good on the second free throw. He wanted to get his team the lead, and even though he didn't, he should feel good. At least he tied it up. Utah's gone 6 of 11 when they've taken the three-point shot tonight. Very respectable. Kicks to Mitchell. Portis brings the double team, and there's the foul. It's on Bobby Portis. That is his first foul of the game. And Utah has possession. the wing Mitchell he's guarded by Bullock just five on the clock and the shot goes in from Rudy Gobert timely passing leads to assists and that's been the recipe for success New York trailing Peyton with the ball he's got 11 here's Randall the rebound by Jeff Green Utah's gotten the three ball working for them in the second half. They've hit three out of three shots from long range. And Green slams it in. And Green getting off the floor there for the dunk. Really like watching him sky up for those. Knicks trail by four. Peyton outside. He dishes it to Bullock. No good on that one. 
so Utah will take it the other way. And the call will be against Julius Randle. And that'll be his third foul so far. And the next one puts him in the bonus. And Utah making a change here. Axum's checked in. Utah leading by four. And the pass to Gobert. He kicks it to Moody. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And a chance here to take a look at the numbers for Morris. He's averaging 11 points a game, seven rebounds, and two assists. And, guys, he's making winning plays. It's as simple as that. Not a star player per se, but he makes his presence felt. And the numbers, they back it up. Whether he can sustain this level of production, we don't know. But the arrow's pointing upward right now. First free throw is good. And still trying to find his footing in the league. Moutier must show improvement in his shooting moving forward. Oh, free throws good from Moutier. Impeccable from the line since Party. halftime. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. And as the coaches go to the clipboard to outline their strategy during the timeout, the players getting a chance to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's key to staying fresh all the way to the final whistle. And, Kevin, it really is. And every one of these players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially uh, towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. Here's Trier, seven points in the game. And Dante Exum picks up the foul. That's his third foul of the game. Here's Trier. He gives the team some steady offense, a bit under 10 points a game. Exum knocks it away. And they have built their advantage on the scoreboard here by doing all the little things. And not the guy you want to send to the line. He has been automatic. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Here's Peyton. 11 points in the game. to Portis. Here's Trier. And just miss after miss right now. Oh, you, you've got to be able to deliver when you get a bunny like that. That's just too easy of a shot to miss. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Mitchell against Peyton and foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. It's going to be on Donovan Mitchell. For New York, they have had 15 tries at the line. They've made 10. Now, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. First one falls for him. Davis has checked in for Gobert. So he's able to get one of two. And here's Green. He'll bring it up for Utah. It's stolen by Morris. Here's Trier. And contact on the shot. So he'll be shooting free throws here. And while we've got a moment, let's two check shots. out the best defenses in the NBA. The Jazz Elbow. second. This is a team that takes pride on the defensive side of the floor. I mean, they play hard and they play together. They are a tough group to score on. These are his third and fourth free throw shots. attempts of the game. Two shots. The first free throw is good, and New York making a change here. Smith has checked in. Both shots good from the strike. 
now Moutier six points for him pass to Green Exum kicks to Mitchell shoot from 12 and a kind roll that time off the rim as that one falls Mitchell's got 25 points in the game now here is Smith defended by Moutier on deep and it's Smith missing you don't want your best shooter heaving up that shot no not at all coach is not going to like that one Moutier with the basket and really the story of the half one team shooting it lights out the other the lights are just out you know what is two competing philosophies one team playing it close to the vest the other fast and loose and there's the whistle on the shot took the foul shot misses he'll be shooting two no question he got bumped on that shot Gentlemen, two shots. Move shot. And the first one drops. Young's checked in for Utah. Jazz leading by nine. Now, here's Mitchell. He's got 25. And they double up Davis. Unloads from 13. And it's Mitchell missing. And that was an easy one there. Just a missed opportunity. If you give it to him, he'll take that shot every time down the floor. I'm sure he's kicking himself. It's good. Trier's got six points in the quarter. And you're going to take as many of those high percentage shots as you can get. Young dishes to Moutier. And Young kicks to Green. Mitchell against Morris. And Morris comes over to help. Dives for it. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Mitchell. And now we get a moment to see the numbers for Jeff Green. Seventh in free throw percentage. And not many players convert opportunities inside as well as he. Top 15 in field goal percentage. And yeah, he's a true professional at the free throw line. It's a part of the game where he excels. You want him at the line for you in crunch time. Passes it to Fortis. With nobody on him, he buries the jumper. And now it's only a five-point jazz lead. Bobby Portis has the ability now to hit shots on all three levels. Davis, the pass to Mitchell. Back to Davis. Mitchell against Morris. Shot clock at six. Takes a shot at the elbow. It's rebounded by New York. And, Greg, what's not to like about Taj Gibson? I mean, he's a hard worker defensively. Finishes well inside. He's got the mid-range shooting touch. But what I like most, really, his unselfishness. He started, came off the bench, no complaints. This is a guy that just wants to win. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. And one of the problems in the first half, that shoddy work at the free throw line. They needed to fix that, and they've been much improved since the break. Here's what Utah's going with right now. Bogdanovich comes in for Young, and it's Conley in for Mitchell. And New York with a change here, too. Robinson's checked in for Portis. He's perfect from the line this time. So it's Utah now. Three point lead. Conley finds Green outside Bogdanovich. 
Crane deciding where to go with it. And there's the pass to Moutier. Conley against Smith. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. Free throw good, Davis. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. Knicks trail by five. Here's Trier. He's got 15. For three, Smith. And Davis pulls it down. Davis has got his seventh rebound here tonight. Utah's gone 6 of 11 when they've taken the three-point shot tonight. Very respectable. Now, here's Moutier. Tight defense on him. Matt wide open. The basket good off the assist from Moutier. Moutier's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Conley against Smith. Four left to play in the third. Trier, that's good. He has flat out dominated this quarter, hitting shots at will. Yet they still find themselves behind. Conley kicks to Davis. Bogdanovich dishes to Green. With the teardrop, and Bogdanovich lays it in. Bogdanovich has got nine points. And Bogdanovich, a talented scorer, likes getting involved down low. Here's Trier, defended by Moutier. Trier passes to Morris. And good, and it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. Eight points for him. Well, this is what every coach emphasizes. Keep your head up, be willing to make the extra pass. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Bogdanovich looking around. Just five to shoot. A three, and the whistle blows. It's going to be on Davis. So that will be his second foul of the game. We're in the bonus, and we'll go to the line to shoot two. Nine seconds left in the third quarter. To the wing on the left. Here's Trier. No good with the triple. Donovan Mitchell firing on all cylinders for Utah. He's been a major threat from three-point range. Got two of them to fall in that quarter. Back right after this. And now we have a moment to uh, reveal our State Farm assist of the game. And how about the big fella here showing us he's got some point guard skill here with the tremendous setup. Let me tell you, when you can run offense through your bigs, you give the defense just another thing it has to try and take away. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. Knicks trail by five. And New York looking at who they've got. Robinson is out there with Morris. And it's Smith. And it's Knox. And at the three, the small forward. Utah has gone downtown 13 times in this game. And they're just over 50%. 7 of 13 on threes. Conley finds Gobert. They get a hand on it. It's stolen by Smith. Trier passes to Morris. Quick shot there, and it's off target. Jazz leading by five. Outside Conley. Outside Bogdanovich. Pass to Mitchell. Six on the shot clock. 
The feed now to Gobert. That's tipped. And you're just not going to see him do that very often. Usually when he rises up, there's a guarantee it's going down. And it's good. Two points. Yeah, you got to appreciate the mindset of Smith. Solid at running the offense and finding his teammates who are open. Conley kicks to Ingles. Finally into the lane. Count that one. Man, both teams scoring at a higher rate here down the stretch. You know what? It's all about the offense. Decisive and prolific. Fun duel to watch. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. And he could tell his guys were dragging a little bit, calling time out to kind of let them catch their breath. Randall's checked in for the Knicks. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Well, during that last break, Kevin, I got a chance to hear what David Fisdale said to the team. He told them flat out, we are turning the ball over too much, guys. We can't keep making the hero ball play. Slow it down, run the offense, and make the safe pass. Back to you, Kevin. Now, here is Smith. Randall down low. He is covered by Bogdanovich. And the shot is good. The Utah lead has been cut down now to just three on the bucket from Randall. And so it's Conley bringing up the ball for the Utah Jazz. They've led by as many as 11 points. Here's Mitchell. Back to Gobert. The dish to Mitchell. That one misses. The Knicks go the other way with it. Just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. He gets it in there. And now just a one-point Utah lead. Those defenders just look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're getting pushed around on that low block. Back to Ingles. And he converts the layup. Ingles has got nine points now in just the second half. That time, a lot of young guys would have jacked up a shot. Patience. Man flashes open. Mitchell delivers the basketball on time. Here's Knox. Here's Trier. Gobert pulls it in. Gobert's got his fourth rebound in this one. Conley for three. Knicks with the rebound. Here's Trier. Robinson lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Moving it around. Eight of their last ten coming off assists. And here is Mitchell. A look at the clock. A little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. Back to Bogdanovich. Kicks it to Ingles. The Jazz working the ball around now. Misses off the right iron. Knicks have gotten four of their six shots to fall so far here in the fourth. A pretty nice efficiency there. And the basket by Knox. And the Knicks lead by one. Nice pass here to set that basket up. Now, here's Mitchell. Defense is right there. Yep, that one goes in there. It's hard to stop Donovan Mitchell from getting to his spot. The guy has everything on the offensive end. Smith kicks to Randall. Outside Robinson. Here's Knox. He's covered by Bogdanovich. Gobert with the block. With plays like that, Gobert can start to get in your head. He covers so much ground. And that one falls coming off Conley's feet. Conley's got six assists in the game. Yeah, going to the floater right there. That was pretty. Now, here is Smith. Dishes it to Randall. Pass to Trier. He kicks it to Smith. Beyond the arc. Up again. It's good on the putback. Oh, big time put back there. What a great motor on this guy. There is no one who goes after those rebounds harder. Utah leading. Conley dishes to Gobert. Conley with it. Robinson picks him up. It's taken away by Smith. Randall outside. 
That shot, no good. Gobert with the defensive effort. Here's Mitchell. Offensive rebound. Aganovic. And there's two points. Working on the glass, paying off that time. I'll tell you, there's no quit in him when it comes to the offensive glass. Passes it to Randall. Robinson left side. Smith against Mitchell. Shot clock at six. Nice shot by Smith. Smith's got it all tied up now for the Knicks. There it is. Just lined it up and knocked it down. His first three of the half, second of the game. It's taken away by Smith. And Smith with the stuff. And I tell you what, Smith has one of the best first steps I've seen in a long time. This guy is outstanding in terms of how he explodes. Now here is Conley. Cloak loose. Out to the wing. And Gobert kicks to Mitchell. Lock at six. Shoots it up. And good! He nails it. Mitchell's got four points in the quarter. Terrific job in the screen and roll. Mitchell creates, whether it be for others or for himself. Robinson passes to Trier. Smith on the wing. Goes up the baseline. Second chance shot. Here's Randall. And another shot. Smith kicks to Robinson. Now the pass to Trier. Tries yet again. It falls through, making him 6 for 11 in the game. You like the aggressiveness. Pushing all the right buttons. He has this team rolling. Pass to Gobert. Now, here's Mitchell. Off target from outside. To the paint. Here's Randall. Pass to Knox. Back to Randall. Three-pointer on the way. That's in for his fifth make of the night. Now shooting at a 50% clip. Five for 10. See, in this half, I feel like he's a much different shooter. Calm, focused, and letting things come to him. Conley with it. Now Smith defending. Here's Gobert. Robinson pulls it in. And this is a guy that can get you stops. Aggressive on the defensive end. Also doing a good job of tracking the ball, contesting the mid-range jumper as well. And it's out of bounds. Utah able to retain possession here. Yeah, tremendous hustle just to get a hand on that one. Reeves the play, quick reaction, almost comes up with that steal. And Utah making a change here. Green's checked in. Morris is checked in for New York. And Gobert kicks to Mitchell. Bogdanovich against Smith. Six to shoot. Let's it go from 14. That's good. Basket number five on a five for eight night shooting. And he has starting to turn it on now after that slow start. Morris outside. Outside Robinson. Smith outside. Gobert with the block. One on one here. Here's Bogdanovich. Power down with both hands. And Bogdanovich, he's a seasoned veteran, comfortable having the rock in his hands when it's a big possession. Now, here is Morris. He dishes it to Robinson. And the shot is good, dropping in off the front of the rim. And the Knicks lead by three. Man, did they need those points. And I bet he's the guy that continues to go for it. He will use his size, his skills, and his shooting ability to go get this win. No one near Conley as he lets it go. And they're unable to get the tying basket there. And here's Morris for three. Rebound, Utah. Gobert's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Randall kicks to Smith. Kept alive. Robinson, that's good. 
And how about the grit and determination in the post? I mean, essential qualities to have late in a close game. Now, here's Mitchell. Passes it to Gobert. Outside Conley. Bogdanovich with it. Here's Gobert. Count it. Good. Gobert's got four points now in the quarter. And Gobert looking comfortable stepping into the spotlight right now. On the wing, Morris. Kicks to Robinson. Back to Morris. Smith outside. Over Conley. Rebounded by the Jazz. Gobert's got his sixth rebound on the night. Kicks it out to Mitchell. He nails it, and we're tied up. Mitchell's got 32 points in the game. Yeah, and such a clutch shooter. I mean, he lives for the big shot, and when he's rolling like this, watch out. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. And with his game closing in on the final buzzer, let's take a look at our Jordan player of the game. And it's been a terrific night for him in terms of the scoreboard. They've run a bunch of sets for him, and he's continued to come through. Scoring as well as he has, it's taken a lot of pressure off the rest of his teammates. Trier, he's checked in for Morris. One twelve left in the fourth. Here's Trier. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. Trier's got 17 points here in the second half. Utah calls timeout. They're down by two. We've got 108 left in the fourth. Mitchell outside. Shot from 12. And it's off the back rim. No good. And so it's Randall bringing it up now for New York. They've led by as many as 14 points. You had a foul to give there, but you'd rather not have it cost your team points. the first one and that makes it a three-point lead and he hits both free throws here so now it's a four-point ball game nice job extending the lead and making this a two possession game now the drive by Mitchell it's not going to go for him. So New York will take it the other way. Here's Knox. In the corner, Smith with it. Offline with his three. Trying to shoot his way out of this slump, but thus far, not working. You know what? At some point, you have to decide. Do you keep pressing the issue, or do you focus on setting up others? He drops the first one, and that puts them up by five. And the second free throw, no good. A tough break there. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock, and it's out of bounds. Utah able to retain possession here. And the Jazz call time, time here. Time out. They trail by five. 19 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Guys, what's your take? And this huddle up about two things, the quick shot and then the quick foul. 
And you're right. And if they do get the bucket, you love to foul someone who isn't automatic from the line. That would take good denial of the ball on the inbounds. 19 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And so they foul intentionally. You have to foul, but I'm sure they would have liked to foul someone different. Good on the first, and that increases their lead to six. And so he drops them both. It's a seven-point game. Big shots there. They are clearly in control of this game now. And the wide-open shot from Green. No good. They had a chance to end the run there. And so it's the Knicks with the win. They seem to relish their role as the bad guy here tonight. Yeah, you know, Kevin, I sense that as well. I mean, they really did feed off all of that negative energy this crowd was directing at them. I mean, they turned it around and used it as motivation to close out a significant win. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Alfred, first off, congrats on the win. What was the key to getting this one? Man, we made shots. Uh, we did a good job of, you know, just getting to the rim. Big effort tonight, Alfred. Thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. And that about wraps it up. For Steve Smith, Craig Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for being with us. So long.